Capricorn. Capricorn, you are the father figure of the deck. You rule the 10th house. You're all about career, father studies, self growth. Your lucky color is brown or black. You're ruled by the planet of Saturn. Saturn is the planet of limitations and restrictions. Capricorn. You're very responsible, very disciplined. But you can also be very ruthless. <laughs> Naturally, you're a natural born leader like an Iris. Iris is a natural born leader too. Don't like to follow. You are a very brave person like the Leos. Leos are very brave, very confident. On the other hand, Leos love fun. You not so much. First card, the world card. So, <laughs> Capricorn, something ended in your life and you, were, you began a very beautiful journey of something. I think, I think it was in your love life. I think, uh, or in your career. Maybe you got promoted. Maybe you got a better job. Maybe you started a business. Maybe you went to further studies. You started something very, very beautiful. Very beautiful. Or you could also be going on a very long trip, Capricorn. You could also be traveling. Or a very long trip. You're going somewhere. Hours away. And uh, something is giving you pressure. I think your work, your job is giving you pressure. I think you're giving it your all and it's giving you pressure. You've uh, grown emotionally. You've had your emotions on lock. You've grown so much. And you're not afraid to show it. You feel like uh, you are in a place, at a place in your life whereby you can control yourself. Love is looking good in your case. If you're single, you're meeting someone very soon. And if you're with someone, I think your love is getting stronger. You're keeping something a secret. I don't know. For a few of you, I feel like it could be you're having uh, relations outside of your relationship. You have, If you're married, you're having an extramarital affair. Or if you're in a relationship, you're not very faithful. You know yourself. And I think you're keeping that a secret. And with the page of wands, you began something exciting. I think it's this one. See this love card. You, be you began something exciting. You're keeping something a secret. I don't know what it is. Could be a secret bank account. I don't know. Something you're keeping a secret. Capricorn. And I don't think anybody is allowed to ask you. Capricorns are very serious people. They don't want jokes. With page of wands, you began you began something very exciting, very, very exciting. It brought this young new energy inside you. Or you could also be dating a fire sign. A young fire sign. They are younger than you, whoever you're dating. They're definitely younger than you because you see you took a leap of faith. <clears throat> yeah, deciding to take a leap of faith into something. I think this relationship. And you're going, you're saying, ah, whatever, I'll, I'll give it my all, do my best and see how it goes. You're not being very cautious, which is unlike you because naturally you're very cautious as a person. I think your relationship gives you a lot of joy and contentment and happiness. Your relationship makes you very happy. Oh, your career. Career too, because you see, I told you, you people, 
you're all about career. This is someone who's working very hard. Very, very hard. You could also be even traveling for work. And it's your work that could be giving you pressure. But I think your your love life, your home life gives you peace. It balances you out. That's why emotionally you become you become balanced. So I think your love life is really great. Makes you feel really good, energetic, like you can do anything, you can conquer the world. And it is in that space whereby you feel very free. You feel like you can express yourself. You feel like life is very beautiful life is worth it and it's in turn gives you the contentment see the smirk on that person's face they're very contented they're very happy so let's just pull out three more cards for your future Capricorn, naturally you are uh, you're very serious, very stubborn, all about focusing on your goals. So in a, however much pressure you get, you won't stop fighting because this is someone who's fighting for what they want. And you're going to achieve that balance with temperance. This is a, temperance is Sagittarius energy, it's a... Sorry, it's an alchemy, manipulating energies. You could, for a few of you, you could, you could go in as much as doing magic. Could be white, could be dark magic. I don't know. I don't know you that well. So, like, see, you're not a quitter. You're going to fight for what you want. If it's work, if it's your family. But with the temperance, you will achieve some balance that you want. Because this is someone who is mastered themselves this is not like the star when um, one foot is in one foot is in one foot is out yes like the star is the same one foot in one foot out but with the star they're naked and they're bending which means they're vulnerable this person is not vulnerable they even have wings they're very steady very very steady they can do what they want they can manipulate energies as well so that's what I'm saying for a few of you, you might opt to do some witchcraft, some white magic, dark magic, some law of attraction, some scripting, whatever it is to manipulate energies in your favor. For a few of you, I, I feel like it's not most of you. For most of you, this is your card. You're going to fight very hard. That's your reading.